Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to use Drip and WordPress together to create an opt-in form. Okay, so let me share my screen real quick. We're going to go into Drip, your Drip account. And so as you can see here, you are going to go into your Drip account. You're going to go to Forms. Okay, this is going to show your forms. You're going to go to form templates to create your template of what you want. It's going to pull up your options. I honestly, in my own opinion, I don't, don't like the options that we have here. Um, so especially when it comes to an embed form, um, whenever you're putting this on an actual page for it to be stuck on the page and not be a pop-up because this is what it has to look like. It's just words, no pictures or anything like that. So you will have to edit the page to put pictures above it or wherever you want it on the page with it so that it looks the way that you want it to. Um, but for the purpose of this joining, I'm just gonna show you um, this one right here. So you'll use, use template. I'll show you how to update all of this and change everything. So once you get in here, you can decide how you want it to look. So you can, um, it starts with the fields. So it already has the email address field for people to fill out. You can put the name field in there by hitting new field and, and filling this out um, if you want the name on there. Um, and then you can go down to design. You can change the background from white to whatever you want it to be. Go through here. You can turn this to say whatever you want it to. And you can change the coloring and all of that, all of that stuff. Um, you can go to the button and change what it says here. Um, you can change the button color. I know Mandy likes, you know, the, the blues and the reds. So we will change these to look that way. So whenever you hover over it and things, it changes to what the colors are. And um, just pick navy here for the sake of changing it. Um, and then the text color, I'm just gonna leave it white. Then the behaviors of this form right here, um, you can choose it to be a time delay or once the visitor scrolls to a certain point on the page. I'm just gonna leave it as a time delay. I want it to pop up as soon as the page loads. I want this over as far as it'll go and this over. Um, right here, delay before reappearing. This means that it's going to be one whole day. So if somebody goes to the page that this pops up on and then they exit that page without signing up, it's not going to pop up until the next day. I don't like that this doesn't have to where it's like zero days. Like it just automatically pops up every time they're on the page. Um, but, but Drip isn't giving us that option. Um, but then if you go to visibility, you can choose where this is going to pop up and what pages on your website you want to go only show pop up on specific pages and put that page. So you will have to go into your WordPress, create the page you want, and then get the um, the web link for that and put that here. Okay. And then on the style, you can choose the pop up form, which is what this is. It pops up as you're scrolling, it'll pop up over everything. Um, and then, or you can choose the embed form. But if you choose the embed form, it's going to change it to that that ugly form that I really just don't like. If you don't care about elegance, then it's totally fine and you can throw it. It'll just look like this. It's just nothing but words. Okay. Um, so I prefer it to be a pop-up just because it's prettier. And um, so that's what we're going to work with right here. And then once you go to submission, okay, you can, you know, choose for it to be um, a thank you. So you can redirect them to a custom thank you page if you have your own WordPress thank you page. Or you can go down here and just edit this message of what you wanted to say. Check your email for the rest of the details on the masterclass or whatever. Um, and then you can um, go over here, make it be a double opt-in, okay? Or um, only for new people, you can disable it all together. And then you can choose um, um, what you want it in your workflow to tag people as. So if you want it to tag them to a certain e email sequence or something like that, you can, you can do that here, okay? So what's gonna happen next is you're gonna activate the pop-up up here. So with this, if, 
If you already have an opt-in somewhere on your page, somebody has already put the code on your in on your website to where these are going to pop up where the, the you need them to. So if you hit activate pop up and it doesn't give you a code, then you already have your code on your website most generally um, because somebody has already put that code on your website but I'll show you what to do if not so if this pops up with a code right here you would just copy the code that it's giving you right click hit copy and then you would come over to WordPress and what you're going to do is you're going to go to pages you're going to go to the page that you want to create um, and i've already done this i already created an example for team mandy perry page um, and what i did was um i just put the code into the body text of this page and then once you refresh the page and go look at it then this pops up and this is what i meant by a pop up this is what it looks like okay whenever it pops up. So you would want your page to be designed how you want it to be, talking about the masterclass, and then this would pop up for you to be able to opt in to the masterclass. Um, and then you can connect your workflow to it to send out the emails to people who have signed up. Um, let me go in here and I will go find this page so that I can show you how I put that code on the page. So if you copied that code because it was there, then what you'll do is you'll wanna go to Example for Team Mandy Perry. Okay, exit, edit with Optimize Press. So I know that you guys are using the DV theme. I do not use that theme. I use Optimize Press. So it's going to look a little different um, for for me versus you guys. Um, but what you do is you go to the page editor, and then on mine, what happens is I just have to go to the top of the page and hit settings. Um, I'm not sure about the DV theme because I've not used that. Um, but you will go over here to page scripts. You will find where it says page scripts for the settings for your page. And then you will go to the body and then you will simply paste, which that's not the right paste code. Um, but if you copied that code, then you would put it here. And I think I have it right here already. So this was the drip code that it gave me. Um, and then you can just do, like I said, and just go over here to the settings and put it in the body script because you're supposed to put it before the body on the page, okay? And then you just hit save on mine. Um, if you're used, if it's just a regular, if it's just a regular page, you can go to add a new page and then set that new page up. So again, I'm just gonna put example Mandy. And then over here on this kind of page, what you would do is you would just go over here to the text and then put it where you wanted it on the page. Um, you be sure and hit text though, because that's where you put in your code and then you can just put it on the page here. Okay. And then you would hit publish. Um, once you've designed the page, how you want to, um, depending on, see it's how this, it put this, it means that there's something there. Um, and then you would be able to publish the page. If you guys have questions, let me know because it's seriously different with every, every little thing that you do. Um, but that's how to do that part. Um, and then, like I said, the main thing is just being sure that you go here to the, the visibility and make sure that you grab the link of this, the permalink, okay, grab that and take it back over here to your drip and put it right here. So it's only showing up on that one page that you're wanting it on, okay? And that's the pop-up one. Um, same thing for the, um, the styled one that is an embed form. You would just go with it, you just go say like you have the title of the page and then you have your words and then you want the opt-in at the bottom. Okay, so then you would just come, you would come to the page where exactly that you want it on the page and you would go to text and, and put that in. See how after opt-in it's right there. You would just put it where you want it in the page um, for it to show up there. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help.